This episode is sponsored by Santa Claus, who would like to remind everyone that being a griefer gets you on the naughty list. I can't sleep, gotta build. There's a ground that needs to be drilled. And all I wanna do is dig. From the Dead Workers Party, a podcast about all things Minecraft. Enjoy your stay in the shaft. The Shaft, episode 13, recorded on December 26, 2010. I'm Brent Copeland. I am Wes Wilson. I'm Eric Fullerton. And we have Spencer Williams with us again. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the honk. Yeah, I know. I oh, thank you. That. Thank you for saving us all for <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. No. So today, I think we're just going to go over the uh, list of games that Notch played over uh, 2010. Yeah. That's the Christmas episode, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, uh, he played, uh, what did he play? He played I, Minecraft. Did anybody notice Minecraft wasn't on the list? I didn't even see the list. Is there, like, seriously a list? Yeah, yeah, on his Tumblr. Oh, nice. Oh. You look at Tumblr? That's where his website is. Yeah. Uh, Notch.tumblr.com. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see the list, though. I'd be uh, I may be making it up. Who knows? Did, but. So here we are, all full of uh, holiday cheer. I'm all out. I'm full of holiday illness. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's not fair, Wes. You have been sick for the last six months. You've got a good point. Yeah. I have kids, and they go to something called the CDC, the Child Development Center, and they bring home the sickness. Oh, I thought the, the CDC was the... Yeah. <laughs> it's the Child Development Center. Maybe I'll screw it up on that one, right? Let's but, take them to the CDC. Well, that's I know. the wrong one. Okay, what did he, he play? He played Bay- Bayonetta. Really? I haven't played that I yet. was kind of joking about what going over he, those. He yeah. play, I'm going to go over it. Bioshock 2. Oh, wow. He gave it a 2 out of 5. Aliens vs. Predator. He gave a 1 out of 5. Awesome. Heavy Rain, he gave a 4 out of 5. This is the best episode ever. Uh, Heavy Rain, he gave a 4 out of 5. <laughs> <laughs> did he, did he did mention he what controllers he used? Here? I think people would be really interested at the... Oh, uh, he really liked Dragon yeah. Age Origins. Hmm. And then... Uh, he yeah. really wow. liked the Sev- Settler 7. Really? That's pretty He didn't strange. like Lead and Gold. Beep, That's beep, weird. Beep, I liked Lead and Gold. Beep, he beep, loved beep, Red beep, Dead. Beep, 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 beep. That's my bit. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, Are you guys hey. ready to go on a journey? Bieber. Yeah. Eric, what? Can you start talking about controllers? Bieber. Yeah. We'll we'll get into that in our journeys. Bieber. How about that? We'll talk about nothing but uh, Bieber, Notch, and controllers. He gave APB a 0 out of 5. And here's our journey. Yeah. Play it again. Tink. Play it again. Tink. No. I want to dance. No. Tink. <laughs> you can dance without it. We'll all sit here and like do some beatbox. You can dance <laughs> if you want oh, to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Ready? <laughs> uh, what is... The journey. The journey. So the journey. I had a I had a crazy journey this week. I've been playing nonstop single player uh, because, you know, we're really uh, multiplayer guys here and... Waiting for all of these mods and stuff to get updated so we can get our server back online. I've just been doing some crazy amount of single player and staying up way too late playing. I mean, it's like I'm addicted to it again. I just, yeah, it's crazy. So I have this, uh, I started fresh too. I was just like, you know, I'll just start over and see what happens. And so already I have a little beachside house uh, and a uh, uh, nice gazebo and all this stuff. And then, but really the, the, what I've really wanted to do is make some minecart stuff. So I have a really elaborate minecart system going way down underground, all these different chambers and rooms and stuff. And then it goes all the way down uh, to uh, an obsidian farm. Uh, and then, so I took all the obsidian and I made a, uh, uh, a portal. So then you take the portal into a uh, into another, you know, you're you go to the Nether, but it, it dumps you out into this big uh, minecart station. So you're in an- another one, but it's it's surrounded. I mean, it's a building, so you wouldn't even know you're in the Nether, right? And then you take this minecart, and it goes through this this um, series of tunnels, and then it just opens out to a huge glass um, uh, tunnel. 
So you can see everything. You're like, oh my God, I'm in the nether. This is crazy. And then it goes into another mountain. It goes way over some lava uh, to another station. Anyway, I'm going nuts. Wow. It is awesome. So you said a big tunnel. Is it big enough where a gas can spawn in there? I didn't think about that, but I haven't seen it yet. Uh, it is kind of That'll big. be a fun day. I didn't realize that, but if it does, I'll let everybody know. <laughs> I, can imagine, I can imagine you're in a mine car and you just cruise along. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, no! Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Wow. So do you do you turn your sound off when you're in the nether? Um, Yeah, yeah, I did, actually, after That's a while. That's some creepy sounds. Yeah. And I was there, I mean, <laughs> days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's creepy. Um, that sounds like caroling at my parents' house. <laughs> <laughs> Your house is in the nether? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I watched Minecraft Chick uh, do her live streaming on Beta Monday, and that was pretty fun. And then I, uh, I joined up on the Reddit server, and uh, right away people are killing me. Um, you know, <laughs> and I'm like, I mean, for, for one thing, I mean, I love Reddit. I, you know, I go there all the time for Minecraft news and just messing around kind of stuff, but... Like I, I, I guess. Did they people have, kill you because they knew who you were? I don't think so. I mean, nobody said out in chat, "Oh my God, look who it is," or anything like that. But I got in there and boom, I was dead. So I'm like, okay, I'll just walk way far away from spawn. And there, there wasn't any buildings or anything that I could see. It looked like somebody went and TNT'd the whole place. It was just random blocks everywhere, uh, which might have happened. I don't know. Uh, but there wasn't any structure that you could recognize as a something you know right. so then i get far away from spawn and then i'm just kind of walking around looking at stuff and there's about a billion swords laying around everything's on fire <laughs> and i'm like this is weird <laughs> it's uh-huh. post apocalyptic well, well yeah. also, also remember a lot of servers are because a lot of the plugins aren't ready yet for you know stopping griefing and stuff like that so a lot of the big servers what they're doing is uh either putting up a new map or mm. just letting the old map and just saying we're going to put the you know the regular map back up after we get everything up and running uh, okay. so it could just be you know hey it's griefer's delight had go have fun for a week yeah it looked like it was uh, just majorly grieved um uh, another thing i i think they have two servers though uh one might be creative and one is pvp or something maybe mm. i joined the pvp one um, so, I, I mean, I wouldn't imagine that uh, the Reddit server that gets so many people on there, so many cool Minecraft people, would look so ugly. So I'm pretty sure I well, wasn't in the de- creative one. It just depends on how much authority. I mean, I can imagine an, a completely open server would be a wasteland. I yeah. mean, I can imagine that it would be just like that. That's I mean, true. it takes so long to, like, build anything of value. And it takes so little time to destroy it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, especially with duping. Yeah. That's true. Have an inventory full of TNT and destroy the dreams of millions. Yes. Or at least, you know, the 14 people on that server. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, anything else? Um, oh, yeah. Um, I'm having this weird bug. Uh, and I've had this for a long time, for months. Um, I'm uh, Like, everything goes black. And then I have to just force quit out of the client. You get that too. You get that too? Yeah. Well, I made a lot of really cool changes to my single player world, and it went black, and I was really nervous, so I restarted it, and it rolled way back. <clears throat> in fact, I was in a part of the cave system that there wasn't a way to get back because I had, you know, made my, I dug my way there. So I was trapped, and it just, it wasn't pretty. So I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, so I need to find a way to save, incrementally save this thing. And the only way I knew to do it was to hit save and exit because it saves your map. But then I discovered just hitting exit uh, or escape uh, actually saves the map. Uh, and then you just hit escape again, you know, just yeah. pulling up the menu. So, I mean, that's probably something everybody knows by now, but I just discovered that. So now every now and then I'll just hit escape real quick, let it save, and then hit escape and go about my way. I really wish that worked in multiplayer. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it may it may try to work. Maybe that's our Well, it issue. says saving when, yeah. you go, when you go there, but, you know, it then doesn't immediately crash the server. Yeah. Yeah. So. You see well, what I did well there. speaking of, um, I, I'll, I'll go ahead and go next. I, I've been um, playing single play too a lot. Oh, cool! But it's because I didn't update my client. I left it over over the when they did the patch, and so I can actually log into our server without any issues. So you just left the client open. Just, if, whenever there's a big patch, don't close your client. Leave it open, and then it won't update itself. 
See, that's not an option for me because mine crashes so often. Yeah, yeah. mine would I, crash mine too. too. Yeah. Okay. That's weird. Mine has been open like well before the patch. Yeah, no, like, mine, mine, the I patch can barely make so. it an hour. Like, yeah. seriously. And it's on my machine where I play Warcraft the whole time. And uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't know why I'm not crashing. Do you but, have uh, Nvidia? Do you have an Nvidia? No, card? I, I switched to an ATI card. I have Nvidia. Do you guys have Nvidia? Nvidia. I is that have the Nvidia. Pro- is that the problem here? That's what it's looking like. I don't know, but speculation. <laughs> Three out of four people agree <laughs> it's <laughs> Nvidia. Well, you, you know, know what? this is going to show up on a news site tomorrow, and I'm going to be mad. You know, you know my Nvidia card uh, died. I mean, just flat out crapped out um, mm. a couple months ago, and so I looked around for other cards, and I just found an ATI card that had uh, it had an iFinity thing where you can actually set up three monitors and and all this stuff, and it was it was a hundred bucks, which is like as much as I really ever want to spend on a card. Oh, okay. Um, but it was like much better than my current card, and I've even thought about they've gone out on, on sale where they're like eighty bucks now, and and you can chain them together, kind of like you could with the Nvidia's. I forget what they call it, but Crossfire. Crossfire is mm. uh, the ATI version of it. So I've thought about doing that because it has been a pretty good card so far. I haven't really had any issues with it. I oh. don't. I, I, I'm, and I can play Minecraft. I'm nervous like about crashing. the AMD ATI connection now. I ignore all that stuff. See, so I'm. I, not. I, I'm <laughs> Like I have an Intel processor, and mm-hmm. you know, so I'm I'm convinced that they would throttle it for me. Right. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I'm sorry. It. You it, should throttle it. I, I can't instead. sleep at night. I literally, I'm, I am afraid of ATI. Well, I'm not. So I've been playing <laughs> single play with. Uh, I say single play, but uh, Soggy's been on too. So he did the same thing as I did. So I've I've seen Soggy a little bit. My poor, Soggy. Yeah, just one of our our community members. Oh, okay. Uh, my poor son closed his, so he can't play on the server, and he sees me over there like building stuff. And I'm like, it'll be back soon, and I'm growing my trees up. And, uh, oh, um, man. So people are going to get onto the server and find your impenetrable tree fortress? Yeah, your yeah. Tr- well, tree wall. Unless you have a hatchet, right? <laughs> or a hand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of those will work. I have built a fortress that people can punch through. <laughs> <laughs> and see, I'm worried that people are just going to be like, oh, I want to see what's behind this, and, you know, punch through it, uh, and I'll have to go fix it every day. Oh, man. Please yeah. don't anyway. punch the wall. Which means growing new trees. So, or, well, you could just put blocks down, right? So, do you put like 400 signs around the outside that says, please don't look in, uh, warp to this if you want to see inside? I don't know. Yeah. That's a tough that one. Like a you could pain. put like one every 20 blocks or something. You know? But, man, that would suck. You spend all this time growing that stuff, and then if it. Oh, man. It's yeah. going to suck if people grief you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're just opening the floodgates. I have there. no <laughs> idea what you're talking my about. State. I can't. You know what? What no one should ever do? Grief Brent. I know. No one should ever go <laughs> to slash warp well, Brent Copeland. I know. With <laughs> thousands of tons of dynamite. I know. And then the or other their thing is, fists. well, and the other thing is, they might <laughs> accidentally <laughs> uncover his chest that's in the wall. That has and all that of that <laughs> gold and diamonds in I, it? I know. And that would be terrible. We wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> we wish you a Merry <laughs> Christmas. So uh, I've also been looking into keeping an eye on our host stuff. They have a wiki where I can actually look and download the new files when they say it's good to go. Uh, and it's not yet. So uh, I, I figured it probably will be another week. Okay. So long as it's up by the time I get you know back to my computer where I can play, I'm I'm fine with it. I, and I'm thinking I'm thinking about just updating the server and putting a different map on there. Until then, because we have the old map too. I'm just I, mm. I'm worried that something will screw up if I do that. Yeah, and you know people will be pissed when they like log onto the new server and like they don't know where their stuff is, and we'll get people complaining about that. <laughs> and then people will get used to it because it's going to last longer than a week, no matter what you say. I don't know. I think. We and should- then they'll start building stuff, and then we'll take it down. They'll be like, "What happened?" And we'll be like, "Shut up!" And then we will lose like every ounce of goodwill we've ever had, all because you put a new map up. Way to go, Brent. Yeah. We bah, wish you humbug. a merry Christmas. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I kind of got depressed there. <laughs> See, I think it would be fun if for the new year we had the old, they had this map up and we gave every we just had chests and chests and chests of dynamite everywhere. And for the new year we we rang in the new year by blowing everything on our server up and making it look like the Reddit server. Oh yeah, and then just revert back. You yeah. see, that yeah, doesn't that. like we had that happen once. <laughs> we had we had like blow up everything night. Yeah, that and, was fun too. And the problem is, <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the problem is, you know, the people that don't know that it's happening. Like in this case, it was me. Like I logged on and I like 
went to uh, the big the shaft sign and it was completely covered in lava and I'm like what is going on and uh, you have the jokers that then say oh we're just getting grief left and right because they don't want to tell you they, they yeah. want to grief you by not telling you that there's not really griefing going on and it just made my blood pressure spike and why do we want to do that to people <laughs> doesn't, doesn't breathing make your blood pressure spike well, well we can it depends on how how near to you I am <laughs> The other thing I'm going to say is there's been zero lag. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm definitely going to talk to our host and be like, look, I have played all week long without the server having any lag. I know it's just me, but still. And, and so I want my multiplayer server to only accept connections from my IP address. No, what I want to do is I, I want to I up the RAM to what you would do for like a 50-player server, but keep it 30-player and see oh, if that okay. fixes it. Yeah, I wanna they they don't think it will, but I'm like, well, let's try it anyway and see what happens. Hey, yeah, maybe. Hey, hey, because uh, you know what would suck Hi. for them if they're like, yeah, the server, this is enough RAM. And they're like, oh, it's not. So we I mean we got to double everybody's RAM for the same price. Yeah, uh, mm. RAM's anyway. cheap. Oh, uh, apparently on servers it's like gold. I don't really? know. It's like yeah. I mean, if you look at like server prices. They'll be like, yeah, we'll uh, put uh, two extra gig into your server for uh, twenty five bucks a month. <gasps> I'm like, what? Yeah, it's, that's a not month. that expense. It's like that kind of dirty little twinge on the a month. Dirty twin. Anyway, so that's what that's what I've been up to. You want to know what I've been doing? No. 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 Next, Spencer. <laughs> um, I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Merry well, Christmas. Go West. We wish me a Merry Christmas. Anyway, um, you know, uh, I haven't done anything. I haven't played Minecraft all week long because our server was down. And instead, um, I've been uh, 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 dominating New Vegas. And I finished oh. New Vegas, and I'm proud of myself. So, what oh, about really? you, Spencer? I um, can't play Minecraft right now, so instead I have been playing EVE Online, which I know no one wants to hear about right now. Oh, so. come on. You should tell us about your new ship. How long did it last? <laughs> 13 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Were you digging in it yet, though? <laughs> yeah. See how what I did there? Yeah. It digging tried. Yeah, digging. Eve. Like, yeah. You know what else? Uh, <laughs> I was also crafting. I did get my son a uh, uh, Lego Universe for uh, Christmas, and yeah. we got it installed, and he's been playing it today. I played the beta. Um, and it looks like you can build stuff in there. Yeah. The Legos. Yep, you can. So, uh, uh, hmm. Anyway. Oh, the other Minecraft thing I did for uh, my son was I printed out a bunch of those uh, blocks. They have like a... Um, uh, post on the Minecraft forums that has like two, a certain scale, so all the blocks will work together, uh, and you just print them out and cut them out, you know, paper craft stuff. Mm -hmm. And I uh, printed out him a bunch of blocks, and he seemed to dig that. So anybody who has kids who watch mm. you play, do that. It's free. Yeah, pretty much so. Mm, blocks. Good idea. Okay. Okay. So uh, that leads us to this thing we'd like to call X Cavation Station. <laughs> All right. I was expecting the chicken to go, <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, we're going to talk about some crazy stuff that people have ideas for, new features. And uh, you want to go first, Brent? Sure. And really, it was uh, Christmas that inspired this one. I want to see different trees, a bunch of different kinds of trees and different biomes. So you could go cut mm. down a Christmas tree and then replant it like in your area. Mm, yeah, I would love to see uh, palm trees. I love palm trees. Ooh, palm trees would be a good one. They just grow maybe on they sand. would drop coconuts. Hey, that's cool. A little health there. A new block. Oh. oh, a whole new block? Oh, yeah, you I'll, could I'll make a phone thinking. out of it, right? Or maybe a, a horse <laughs> <Coconut> noises. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a horse. <laughs> Does that not work well? Right, I mean, my uh, coconut horse. You just have your friend play the coconuts behind you, and you act like you're riding on a horse, and you all move yeah. faster together. Well, that would be awesome. And then you have Vorpal that. Bunnies. I want the Black Knight. <laughs> See? We're all on the same uh -huh. page. You know uh -huh. what I don't want? What? Any of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so what do you want? Yeah. Um, Laser guns. On, are, is this on sharks? No, just like, I'm thinking like high yield laser guns that you can um, swipe much across Eve. and uh, level an entire mountain with. Back to the whole griefing stuff yeah. here in that month. Okay. And then you can, like, point it at Brent. Ah, do you have spaceships where you can pull this stuff that you mined into yeah, cargo with holds? Yeah, tractor beams. Yeah. And take it back and sell you it on You can go to a station and then, you Star. know, there would be an economy. 
Kind of like economy, except it's not working. Yeah. Um, so you can actually make yourself a little starship and base an asteroid field that you mine. Yeah, like just perhaps, you though. <laughs> perhaps you could sell um, blueprints that would, you know, allow people to build more advanced spaceships, which they can then use to uh, either blow up other spaceships. Or I'm liking this. That sounds good. How long so, would your spaceship last if you built one? I'm going to kill minutes? you in your face. <laughs> So, uh, Wes, <laughs> you got some blank spaces to fill. Uh, I kind of, I kind of like. Sounds dirty. <laughs> um, I, I kind of like the idea of the blueprints. Um, what I'd like to be able to do is to like draw, like have a tool to like. I, I, I'll, <laughs> tool. I, I know. Um, I, I'd like to be able to have some kind of like planning tool for building buildings. Like, so you make a blueprint on paper, and then planning it kind of projects tool. it onto three dimensional space. <laughs> you know, so that you can kind of you know look at what you're doing. You know, uh-huh. before you actually do it. So maybe you uh, would see like shadow blocks of yeah, what you were going to build. And, and so then you can just place them where they were. And yeah. Oh, that would be kind of cool. That would save some time. Or, like, let's say you wanted to build something and you kind of planned it out and, and you picked a space for it, you know, and I'm like, I want to put this here. You could kind of, like, put it in and overlay it over and you could see what it would look like in the environment you're in. Well, I, I, I love this idea because you can actually make it run off red dust, right, mm-hmm. that would shoot this thing out here. And then you could have multiple people working on the project and not worry about getting it wrong, yeah. right? You just say, So, I, I have a question. Um, like... It sounds to me like you would have to build a project like more than once in this case. Well, what you would do is you would have some kind of planning tool, you know, <laughs> tool. like like may, it, it, this might be you know kind of a modi sort of thing, you know, you, yeah. where you do it on paper, yeah, and and then you 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 do it in the computer, just you know, with some kind of like CAD system sort of thing, and then you go into the game and you see that sounds like work to me. Well, yeah, it is work. I, I just like says leveling. the man who is building a snow globe. That sounds like work. <laughs> well, no, I mean, like as soon as you bring a CAD program into it. How many pieces of paper are behind paper. the size of your snow globe? So far, just one. What's the one I saw with all the numbers on it? Was that building the sphere? Yeah, that was like each one was a was a layer. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Both sides so yeah. far. Yeah. Yeah. So that you're, sounds you're like one work step to me. away from uh, CAD. It sounds like yeah, but I'm not in a CAD, so <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, yeah, okay, I'm done. <laughs> well, so uh, Eric, what what do you got? I want what you got? Uh, I've been doing so much building and so much digging and drilling and stuff that uh, I think it would be kind of cool to get <laughs> something that <was> drilling. <laughs> I think it would be nice to have a, a speed buff. You know, like a like an adrenaline boost or maybe something like a magic mushroom that you can eat. <laughs> That would be like. Would you grow? Got some uh, pills here. Yeah, maybe you could grow hey. it. I don't know. Grow. Either grow it or, or yeah. it's just a really rare thing or like something. Like Mario. Uh, but it would both speed up uh, digging, you know, or running. Any any action that you do, it just speeds it up, but for a short period of time because. Would you become an um, Italian plumber? <laughs> sure. Plumber. It to me. Uh, but like, okay, there was one time where I was uh, I was digging in the old shaft and I saw a zombie um, coming out, you know, of a hallway, and it freaked me out. So I ran to the chest to get uh, some more swords, yes. I think. And then when I turned around, there was four more. So there was a total of five. I'm like, we're. I must have like unearthed a uh, a spawner or something. Right. So I run out of my house and they're all following me. And I, that's when I thought of it. I'm like, I need to, like a speed boost because I'm I'm basically like kiting them around. I mean, they're slow, uh, obviously, but you know, oh. it would just be nice to be able to just you know just a, a speed burst. So you want like magic boots you can build, sort of? Yeah, that would work. Too. I would like a whole range of magic boots. Like gravity boots or jet boots and yeah. different boots. Magnet boots. Come Magnet boots would be them. cool. Yeah. yeah. What about B boots? Like bee from boot? uh, what? Mario Gra- Galaxy. Like that, is, that is the worst Mario co- costume. <laughs> I of knew all you time. loved it. <laughs> yeah. um, no, but spring boots would be fun. Ooh. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. Like Speed that. boots. Boots of elven kind. Boots of water Make you walking. walk silent. Of yeah. Water, uh, yeah. That would be awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> he dorks. Okay, uh, so we've got uh, something here that we're going to play, right? Yeah, we got a call, and here it is. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is George, and uh, my idea for Minecraft is um, that it, it's beer. You know, straight up delicious, nutritious beer. And uh, how you would do this is by, um, you know, having a new crop, hops, barley, 
and yeast. You know, yeast can come from wheat or whatever. And, you know, you put it in the crafting area along with some water and voila, you have yourself a nice, cold, refreshing drink. Um, beer, obviously. And uh, what this would do is that after you drink a certain amount of beer, you would uh, become invincible for a couple minutes. But your controls would, uh, your keyboard controls and mouse controls would be inverted, so up is down, down is up, left is right, right is, right is left. And your WASD keys would also be inverted, meaning that D is A and W is S and stuff. So, uh, uh, love the show. Keep, keep up the good work. I have been drunk many, many times, and I have never once been invin invincible. But you felt like it. No. No. Is that the, do we need to add X to the machine or something? <laughs> like X, what? You're <laughs> I'm taking it one That's step That's illegal. <laughs> well, so is beer for three-year-olds on the yeah. planet server. I've never stopped you. I think it's a cool <laughs> idea, though. It's like... Uh, you know, and wow, you can drink beer, and then everything's all swirly and, and blurred, and it's hard to walk. And then when you chat, you know, it adds, hick. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, think, I think it would be fun. A little yeah. social. You could make kegs. Yeah. Maybe kegs of beer. I will say that yeast does not come from wheat. And then you would I, say rethorthed. 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 But I think that's a, kind of a step towards the, you know, it doesn't matter, and it's just for looks kind of thing, like slash dance or something like that. You know, I mean... Really? You know what I think you Unless should do? Unless beer gives Eric, you health. Right huh? now, I think you should slash dance. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, uh, we, we've got some other ones here from uh, uh, you listeners, uh, like always. I do want to go ahead and preface this with uh, something, because we did have an in incident over this past week where... Uh, uh, we gave out somebody's name over the air, that, and they didn't want us to. Uh, and and what happened is basically they sent us two emails, and the first one had their nickname, and the second one had nothing. So we just went with whatever the name was on the email because we want to make sure everybody gets you know accredited with with what they mentioned. So yeah. if you do not want your real name mentioned on the show, please make sure you put your your whatever name you want to be known in the email and, and express. If you're really really against having your name, you might want to make a fake account even. Uh, I would rather you send in the email and just put uh, what you want to be called or, hey, don't call me anything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, we, we do apologize for uh, uh, that person. Don't what, what was the name of the person? Uh, <laughs> Spen Spencer Williams. Oh. He, that his, guy is a dick. His Twitter was <laughs> at Brent Copeland, too. So oh, okay. go follow him there. <laughs> nice. uh, this first one is from uh, Baked Potatoes. Uh, and he wants uh, chest traps, ordinary chest that will blow up if opened by someone else. Yeah, chest. You know it would be really jerky? What? Then mm -hmm. you go around and you find everybody else's chests and you destroy them <laughs> and then you put your explosive chests down and then when people come back to their own bases they get blown up. Hey, that's a good one. We wish, wish you, you a Merry <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> we wish you. <laughs> uh, so uh, Bubble Boom uh, wants poison. Good tidings will bring <laughs> to you and your friends. I thought you were gonna bust out a poison song or something like "Look What the Cat Dragged In" or something like that. <laughs> no. Did they no. ever do a Christmas album? Uh, I hope like not. Poison does. I'm Christmas. sure they have at this point. One of them, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bubble Welcome boop to yeah. the sound of reindeer hooves. That's okay, let's Skid move Road. on. No, yeah. I'm liking this. No, oh, go no. on. <laughs> Don't like where we're going. That's where this is not a good the place. Yuletide log. This is bad. What are some other? I would like to hear White Lion. I want to go to my happy place, and it does not involve White Lion. White Christmas Lion. I don't know. I can't understand why. Children decorate a Christmas tree. So Bubble Boom had another idea, and that was he thought about a pencil that could be used to write books that you put in your bookcase. Pencil. Or make your blueprints with. Yep. Ah. Yeah. Uh, Tom here. To someone, oh, Tom wants a pick hatchet. Uh, uh, basically, you can cut down a tree or mine with it, so it's kind of like um, a dual tool. Uh, and the trade-off would be that it uses more maps to make. Uh, and I was thinking, what, what is it? I'm sorry. A pick hatchet. A pick. So hatchet. it's a pick, a mining pick, yeah. and a hatchet. And you didn't go tool. <laughs> Well, no, it's just ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> and honestly, you go step one step further, just make a Swiss Army knife, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, put them all together. Switch. Gnomish, Gnomish Swiss Army knife. Yeah, but you need a downside. You resurrect though. people. I mean, uh, it needs a it needs a negative. Like it doesn't last as long. The uh, downside it, it takes a few seconds to switch between each one. What? No, downside. that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't know. In PvP, it would, I guess, if it you was. You know what? You said resurrection. I do think you should be able to resurrect people. 
Like, say you can walk up to someone and slay them with your pick hatchet sword. Take all the stuff and then <laughs> and res then, them. And then res them, yeah. Hey, that's cool. And then kill them and then res them again. Yeah, and then that, I like that, the res. That's cool. And on the cool. third day, they oh, whatever. arose. <laughs> When I first saw this, I thought it said pink hatchet. I'm like, what What would a pink hatchet do? Uh, yeah, we, we were about to go bad places, I think. So let's go on and move on to Tom. Tom. That's T-O-M. <laughs> Tom. Tom wants a spear. Uh, replace feathers and an arrow with sticks. A spear... I'm guessing that you just use it to poke people with, and you don't they throw, throw it. it. Throw it. Throw it. <laughs> it does more damage poke. than an arrow, right? So you throw one spear. Oh, okay. So you, maybe you can throw it and use it as it a melee. Fi- I mean, if you would also have a shield, you could finally, like, w- like dig a big pit and then do the scene from 300. Mm-hmm. You could kick <laughs> yep. people. This is Shaftland. Or we could make phalanxes. Wait, what is a phalanx? It's a... It's a um, uh, it, it's a formation. It's a military yeah, formation military where formation. you lock shields and you put yeah. your pikes in front of you. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then you kick oh, people into pits. Yeah. That'd be sweet. <laughs> and you go, this is Shafflands! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why um, am I yeah. Scottish? <laughs> 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 this makes no sense. Freedom! Uh, okay. Next one up here is Big Z. Double, triple, triple zero. Triple zero. Triple and uh, or Big Zoo. <laughs> He, uh, he says a one-way <laughs> teleporter, one-time use, sends you back to the spawn point. Isn't that like slash home? Yeah. Or slash spawn? Or slash spawn. One-way and, teleporter. And, you know, he might have had something more interesting in his email. I'll give him that much. <laughs> I'm just saying. Is this one of your edit jobs? It could be. It sounds like he, it. It, look, it sounds like he took a pick hatchet to this email. <laughs> Well, it could be like an in in item game, so, uh, in item game. Wait, in game item that you uh, you know something that you build that becomes a teleporter or something. That would make more sense, maybe. Uh, and then uh, Funokami, uh, Okami, Oka, Oka, Okami wants a mace that's heavier than like a sword and, and deals more damage. And uh, I think different kinds of weapons would be cool. Heavier though, we don't have a weight variable. Right? Not yet. Yeah. Yeah, like I want to like, maybe maybe that's what we need. We need a game that's all about carrying vast amounts of mineral wealth around with you to suddenly have encumbrance. That would be fantastic. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then and then you know what comes next? Bulldozers donkeys. and cement donkeys. trucks. Donkeys, yeah. yeah, to carry your vast tr- troves of mineral wealth. Yep. Did we already uh, mention cement trucks? You did, yeah, uh-huh. I think, or yep. a forklift or something. <laughs> I, I think uh, tractors and stuff, yeah, but like yeah, have one of those little uh, cement mixers and things what? that maybe you Italian could take plumbers. around. Makes what? <laughs> what are you guys saying? Uh, awesome. They're <laughs> no, but, yeah. I I just want donkeys to carry. I I'm gonna say I want donkeys to carry my vast troves of mineral wealth. Just because I want to keep saying vast we've covered, of mineral oil. We've actually done donkeys before. True Jones. True Jones wants... <laughs> it's Crew vast, Jones. Vast troves. It says crew. Of mineral Why did you l- mislead me I don't me have like the that? time to look at the paper. <laughs> 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 he wants quicksand. He wants to combine water and sand to get quicksand. And it could be placed over an open block and you would still fall through it. I think that'd be kind of cool. Unless you have the yeah. grappling hook. I would like there to be uh, yeah. quicksand in the game that there's a myth that you can die from it, but you really can't. Mm. <laughs> Every time you fall in, someone walks out and hands a tree. No, you just get stuck. Yeah. And then you type slash home. And We've done Travis's before. Yeah. Travis's? Yep. What is it? Ice picks. You climb uh, no, ice no, up faster. The one above. Miner's that. helmet. Yeah. Miner's helmet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with the big torch glued to the front of your forehead. Yeah. <laughs> That's safe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so but he see. also had one for uh, ice pick, so you could climb up uh, faster using them like ice. That would be cool. Oh, yeah. I'd like, I like an that. ice pick hatchet. I like a dad. You're, I'd like a pink ice pick kind of hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> kind of grabbed a hold of the whole dual I am implement sucking. thing. And sucking it dry, baby. This last one is a repeat as well uh, from Communist Banana. It says, a spear. It's a melee weapon with a longer range than a sword, but swings slower. Good for killing creepers. Okay, yeah. so that's a little more descriptive. Wait, so wait. you can use it as a melee weapon. It's longer, obviously good for creepers, so they won't blow up in your face. But you can still does but anyone swing fight? Slower. Oh, but it's slow swing. Like, yeah. Uh, does anyone here fight creepers with melee weapons? Yes. Yes. All the time. Yeah. I only use bow and arrow. I don't want to get near those creepy. Well, they come up and you knock them back and you just step back a few things. They stop hissing and then you come up, knock them back. You basically just keep resetting them. 
I just kill them really easy. Boop, 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 and they're dead. It's when it's I, when you I don't, don't have know. a bunch of arrows yet. <laughs> I have to. I, don't I have to make the sound though. It's, when, it's go, when you don't know they're there. That's that's the danger. When you don't know they're there, it's too late and they explode. But yeah, just keeping back, like kind of tapping. I'm like, no, no, back, back, back. Right. Back, back, <laughs> back, back from the like, thousand uh, hills. It, I think the thing I love about <laughs> creepers is like when you turn around and they like see you and they kind of turn sideways and like sneak behind a tree and you're like dude I saw you back there <laughs> but it's like so like they have like a personality more so than any other creature yeah I that's think, very true that. that's yeah. awesome <laughs> they're uh, one of the best video game villains of all time I think and I and I hate him so much they're better than Ganon yeah uh, well we're gonna get to be fair everybody's better than Ganon we're gonna get hate mail yeah. is that Zelda yeah, for me. is that a Zelda reference yes I'm gonna email I'm, you some hate mail I, I knew the name <laughs> Uh, Dear Eric Fullerton <laughs> <laughs> We didn't edit these But they're the last two here You want to read them in a stupid accent or something I, I don't have them You don't have an accent Oh I no! Don't have, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll read this first one Okay. Here, turn uh, your this one is from away. Jimmy Kunkel I'm like, Now I'm scared about saying people's uh, names uh, But I'm like that's such an awesome name You gotta say it Jimmy <laughs> Kunkel uh, He thinks it would be sweet if you could craft some resources together Like iron and diamonds to make something that can dig larger holes Like 4x4 four four. Uh, It could be like a jackhammer or a bulldozer uh, I thought that was kind of cool. Underwolf says he. I'm sorry, we were going to talk about that. Oh, I'm just thinking like more big vehicles, like diesel powered vehicles. It's like it's a really popular thing. It's like, let's get some wrecking balls in there and let's get some, you know. You know what? I actually so. would like to have wrecking balls so I can like um, redo that scene from Seinfeld where they were trying to save the coffee shop. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Was that Seinfeld? I what no is idea. the deal? Oh. Never watched it. Know. What's the deal with the construction equipment? <laughs> okay, here, live. This is going to be a live example of how I do people's emails, okay? Cool. I'm going to read this how I would have done it, and Which then one? you read it. Uh, Underwolves. Okay. <laughs> Underwolves. This would have been Underwolves. He wants acid. This would burn uh, straight down uh, into a pit and make a bigger pit real quick. Okay, fast. so there's Brent's cut. We'll call that Brent's cut. Um, here, here is the actual email. I was just thinking it would be cool to have an unpredictable liquid like water or lava, but have acid. So how would it work? As is you. So how. So how it would work. So how it work is you would find some on bedrock or ad, adminium, fill a bucket with it because buckets are you know well known to be acid proof. Um, <laughs> fill a bucket with it from the top drop it somewhere and it falls instead of continuous falling so like it's one block falling like say sand is what he's saying um and takes out three to four squares in width of blocks and burns all the way to the ground or bedrock it would be one time use and destroy all the blocks it burns um so you could power mine like get a big hole there's a chance of accidentally destroying some diamonds I want to know how you could carry this incredibly noxious substance in a bucket. Well, you could, you could make another something besides a bucket. See, that's why I leave that out, because that's neither here nor there. No, I mean, he, he, his whole yeah. idea was acid so you could power mine with it. Right, but so there would have to be a new something that you would make to put it in that yeah. could handle it. And, I would like. I, I think that's not the point. I think his point is acid, yeah. and it would burn down. But Ast his, he Astrogali said like, has a, a negative, it, it could destroy... Um, items that was yeah. his negative yeah. my negative would be noxious fumes that killed you oh okay i see what yeah. you're saying well astragali I'm sorry, I, I went astragali says you just need a glass bucket so it doesn't mess with the metal and then I, i've got a really good idea oh, don't this touch is me. called a don't lid. touch me with your filthy hand it's a <laughs> lid you put a lid on the bucket and it protects you from the noxious fumes and you wear a mask oh, a you lid. change your but skin what if you to trip? put a mask on and then there's there's it's got a mask lid. detection. What's the deal with acid buckets? <laughs> Do you feel like there's multiple conversations? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then you on your skin, you actually put a mask on your skin, and there's detection in the software that detects if you right. have a mask on. Okay. Okay. And as soon as you put the mask on, you immediately get a flamethrower? <clears throat> yeah. So, but, okay. Because it's like the pyro? Now, take those two. Do you think what I did to it was enough to get us through it? So we could do 10 in the space of what it took us well, to do I think do we one. got some good acid jokes out of this, yeah. and we didn't even go the pharmaceutical <laughs> rap. <laughs> you know? Well, you know what's funny about this is Brent's cut was, like, you know, short to the point. It's rhetorical saying what it's going to be made of, right? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter, unless it's super clever. And then your cut, Spencer, was basically, well, reading the whole email. Do you want to know that I actually edited this before I put this in there? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> Okay, read the original email. Do you still have I, it? I, I, it would take me too long to find it, but the things that I cut out, 
<laughs> or things like, hey, I love this show. I've been listening to you guys since uh, Control Point episode 24, and, and it's so cool, and Wes is my favorite, and blah, 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 blah. Well, no, yeah, yeah well, I'd love to hear that stuff, but we don't need to say yeah, it. Yeah, and it's great. Yeah, it's yeah. great stuff to read, but reading it on the air is like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so... So uh, yeah. so Boy. so we're gonna be sending the emails to you from now on, Spencer, and let you do the middleman. Edit. All right, I'm just gonna cut out everything except "Hey guys, guys, great show." <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna read that over and over and yeah. over. I'll just play a couple bumpers and we're done, right? <laughs> 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 All right. Well, let's do some news up in here from the Minecraft Daily news and updates. Feeling like we Christmas, got isn't it? Some news turned, on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day <laughs> in the morning. I turned the news light on. Oh, good. The news light is on. Excellent. All right. Let's get to it. Beta is here. <laughs> We've been playing the beta. We've been loving it. Or at least I, I have and Brent has. <laughs> I, I haven't been playing the beta. I've been playing the old stuff because <laughs> ah, I heard there were so many correct. bugs and stuff in the beta, I didn't want to deal with it. Ah, okay. Um, well, News that. Um, just kind of like looking that. over some of the stuff that's in the beta, one of the things that's uh, is really cool is the Christmas-themed capes that everybody got. And uh, it's so cool. It's like a little it's like a little cardboard flap on your back that just kind of flops around. It's, it's awesome. It's got a little Christmas tree on it. Uh, uh-huh. And then I feel like I missed. I, like I can't even. I don't even have the option because my laptop can't run it. Yeah. Thanks for ruining my day, jerk. And they might go away. I'm gonna send you hate mail. All right. I'll delete it. No, you I'll won't. You'll edit it. You'll I'll summarize it, it until it, it says, down. "Hey guys, great job." <laughs> uh, some other cool things that we got with the beta are tool tips. So we actually have official names for for some of the items that we're Ooh. just making stuff up. So the wiki will have to be updated with some of this stuff. Um, a, uh, a a little something about the tooltips, though, is now we finally have real names for nether materials, like glowstone. Yeah, instead of lightstone. Yep, and soul sand. Instead of the suck sand? Uh, slow sand. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's called soul sand for a reason, because if you look real close, there's a bunch of little faces. Oh. Just like in Doom, like the little you know gray faces. Anyway... Uh, and then, of course, Netherrack, um, and uh, they they swear Mojang swears that, that it's not a typo or a bad translation from Sweden Swedish to English, uh, but it's uh, it's actually Netherrack. So I, I wrote down here the uh, definition of rack from the you know dictionary. <laughs> it says to cause great physical or mental suffering to pain racked his entire body is an example, and then the second one to torture by means of the rack. It sounds like nethery, right? Yeah. So, uh, but at first glance, it's like netherrack. What what is netherrack? That's the red cobblestone, right? Yeah, oh, okay. red, the red netherstone. Yeah, that's sounds, really sounds British. Fast and netherrock break. Oh, that didn't sound British. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> netherrock. Yeah, I like my British accent. Netherbrack. Uh, netherrack. Netherrack. Govna. <laughs> Does that sound British? Govna. That automatically. <laughs> You gotta. <laughs> you can say up. anything. Just put governor on it. Boy, in the cup of tea. Okay, I and then we the rack, governor. I'm glad I put the news light on for this. This is important. Yeah, it's important that it's there. Um, we also got some cool stuff like um, uh, what? Did, what did we get? Oh, the leaf decay isn't. It's been rewritten again. He's having a lot of tr- trouble with that. That sucks. Um, <laughs> Does anyone else think this is going to be the end of Minecraft? The like he's going to go into some sort of weird, sneaky hate spiral about <laughs> about leaf decay. Yeah. And then one day you'll just axe a leaf and your whole server will just go. <laughs> 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 Probably, there, I got rid of your leaves. <laughs> <laughs> the decay spreads. You cut down a tree and it starts eating into the mountain. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. We got... Uh, dun, dun, dun. What did we get? I'm looking through a list and I'm singing about it. Oh. Alone for Christmas is my two front teeth. <laughs> um, I know that. Oh, yeah. You can throw eggs now. Oh, uh, but only a stack of 16, right? Yes. Only stacks of 16 eggs. I don't know why. It's just like snowballs. Oh, snowballs is sixteen. Yeah. Good thing to know. What? Yeah. Huh? I don't know why. But because you got to reload, they don't want you to have you know like sixty four all on one key. So you can maybe just I've never thrown a snowball before, but I. But eggs cause damage. It's not Sorry. just cosmetic, so you can kill a creeper with them. Pretty cool. I've eggs been doing cause it. damage. Yes, I've been doing it. 
So now, don't trust me. <laughs> so now, you. can you keep you know, a chicken I, like in your house, just as like a little chicken farm to get eggs and keep harvesting? Well, the I, w- eggs? I was throwing uh, eggs at a creeper, and then a chicken appeared. And you know why? Like, on the creeper, and I'm like, oh, I guess they're hatching. But I kept throwing them. Yeah. You know why he wanted to throw eggs at the creeper? Why? Because he wanted them s- scrambled. Hey, wow, you're that fired. Was, that was you're so fired. bad. <laughs> That was so bad because I was sitting there going, "Man, this is clean going out somewhere. your desk. This is going somewhere good. <laughs> this is going to be." Oh, that wasn't funny. Uh, that was s- really. That was really odd. Well, you know, <laughs> us three hosts are gonna kick out Wes. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Uh, let's see. No. Uh, uh, anything else on this list? Uh, I bet this you noticed, good? Eric, that holding down the backspace works in the server input field now. Yeah, finally. finally. Remember how annoying that was? Yeah. So you can hold it down. That's great. And and a lot of these things aren't even uh, in the official thing. It's just I, I was going around trying to find undocumented <laughs> cool things, things that were uh, put in there. <laughs> things. Um, a lot of uh, fixes and things like that. I don't know. Really, I guess we kind of covered the the big ones. Unless I see somebody in the chat room screaming about something crazy that we missed. But uh, I guess we'll move on. So you know, so I noticed news. Well, well, wait, one more no, thing. No, we got more news. news. I, I know he's, uh, uh, you know, he posted on his uh, his Christmas Day post a bunch of gift codes, first come first serve. I bet those went pretty fast. Oh God. Um, but we have one too. So, uh, and we're going to give it out at some point. But you know what? I won't. I don't want to do with it. What? I don't want to do a first. I hate first come first serve. I, I do too. We I only have one. We're definitely not doing a first come. Yeah, I mean first it, serve. it. It 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 seems to like. You know, favor people with good reaction times. Well, but it also favors people who look at your your blog on Christmas Day. You know, I mean, that's yeah. like that's what you want, right? People, no, that's what he wants. I don't want people. I mean, I don't want people like listening to me on Christmas. I hope they have b- something better to do. No, listen to us on Christmas. A- actually, uh, who was it that started a new tradition of listening? Jazz, jazz, yeah. Started listening to our. I'm, our I mean, I'm li- I'm glad about. I mean, like jazz is like a buddy of ours at this point. So yeah, that's yeah. cool. We need to get him on the show. Uh, anyway, oh, here's what, a quick thing here that Borgat says in the chat room. Uh, the armor is visible in multiplayer now, which means everybody's gonna look the same. I don't wear any armor in multiplayer. Yeah, I don't. Either. Well, I don't either. But okay, if you had armor on, you're gonna look like everybody else with armor. I guess you know. Except for can your you face, make armor out of wood. Except for yeah, that except helmet for your covers your <laughs> half your except face. Except for this and except for that. No. Oh, I work. wish you could so I could look like I Kill was. some cows. Make some leather. That's not the same. You want to look like a treant? I want to look like like um, Woodman from go, Mega Man. Go Woodman. make an avatar. With like, with like leaves spinning around me. Uh, server side inventory is working. Less yeah. griefing now, maybe. Less uh, people using uh, inf edit and stuff like that. Perhaps. So can we uh, still like use the bug to refresh tools? Duping is is gone. I don't Sweet. know about that. Oh, it, oh, the repair thing. Yeah. Uh, I, I haven't read anything about that, so I don't know. Mm. Does we, anybody in the chat room know if you can still drop a tool to repair it? We we have the kit stuff though, and I, I'll make it work for admins. Okay. That would be nice. Yeah. You know what's also awesome about our server? Everyone can cuss except the admins. That is fantastic. Why can't you cuss? Because it 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 asterisks out every no, time. No, 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 no. What happens is they know all the cuss words to say that gets around it and you don't. No. Yeah, I've seen that it does it to them too. No, it doesn't. It does. My God. I need to I, learn I hear some better cuss words. <laughs> All I know are the good ones. Like, oh, it's, and it's default. <laughs> I, we can add whatever we want to that list. I'm going to add lag to it. Lag, nice. Here, it I'm should gonna, replace lag remember. with like nine asterisks, just so people are really confused. <laughs> <laughs> or change it to where it says like, "I love how there's no lag on the server." Yeah. <laughs> like, this, this is not news light worthy. I should turn <laughs> off no, news uh, light. The chat room are, are a lot of people are saying repairing is gone as well, so I haven't tried that myself, so mm. uh that's gonna be sad. Yeah. I'm that's happy a, that's for depressing. it. I'm yeah. happy. But you know, it's part of the game not to do that, but but dang it, I, I want a real way to repair in game. Like legitimate repair shop. Like I want to be like a blacksmith. Or I've, something. I've got one for you. Dig down, get three diamonds, some wood, put it into a, a thing, and make yourself a pick. Over and over and over again? Well, when it wears out, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty If it's going to wear out, like, it should wear out, like, in a matter of the, years. Well, and the one thing I don't <laughs> like <laughs> real is real. that when you have a diamond pick and you're digging, it, really, if you're smart, 
you'll you'll use an iron pick unless you've got tons and tons of diamonds and then right. switch to the diamond pick when you need it and i don't mind that if the iron pick would last a little bit longer you know what i mean like i don't yeah. mind diamonds being special and you know us having but I, I would like the durability on iron picks to go up a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I well, mean, like, I'm serious. If you make I think, them up to where a diamond pick is, it's like then you don't need diamond picks. No, I think I think um, that iron should last just about as long as diamonds do, and diamonds should last like a ridiculously long amount of time. Because I mean, I just can't imagine in any like any situation where an iron pick would just d- be destroyed from using it 16 times. I mean, it's just or however it's like 64, isn't it? It's something. It seems like a lot to me. It's yeah. not a lot, is it? It's not a lot. Yeah. It's cry not babies. a lot. Bunch of crybabies. It's not a lot. We wish you a Merry Christmas <laughs> and a pick that never breaks. Also in the news, Minecraft wins game trailers. I liked your news voice. There. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Uh, Minecraft wins. <laughs> <laughs> I got British all of a sudden or something. I was I think it was like a I guess, uh, Minecraft uh, wins. Yeah, 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 Minecraft yeah. wins the game trailer awards. <laughs> yeah, see? Uh, it won the game trailers award for biggest surprise of the year, and there's a video you can watch. I'll put that in the show notes. Pretty cool. We're Is gonna it, put your name up in lights. It was uh, it was <laughs> rock it f- paper shotguns twenty uh, fourth day of Christmas. Yep. thing too. So yeah. Went That's they like awards. their game of the year. So yeah. Speaking of videos, did you notice that? Um, uh, in Search of Diamonds had a quarter million views. Yeah, it's going crazy. Woot! Wow. Can't wait to get that million. Can't wait to get some more pumped out there. Yeah, yeah. and Pump get em. your check from YouTube. Pump. Wouldn't that be great if you got a check from big YouTube? Big old fat check out of the blue, like yeah. We like this video so much. Here's a big old. St- I like your voices money. today. Yeah. You like you're like you're like all voicey. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, stop trying to do them because oh, I remember sorry. I was, yeah I can't do a uh, uh, whatever I was trying to do okay so here's a new one uh, colored dyes for wool is under development a nice. tweet from Jens Bergenston says nice there are 16 types of wool with recipes sweet colors dude tapestries why, why is crazy. that taking so long well I'd say we DDO oh I'm sorry they're having trouble you know figuring out you know what to do name you, the colors. Spencer, do you want to go to Sweden and code this for them? Yes. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, all right, cool. Can I go too? Yeah. Oh, sweet. That'd be fun. Yeah, we'll we'll pay for it with your fat check from uh, YouTube. From YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> so he also played StarCraft Two: Wings of Liberty. Huh? Thank you oh, for coming listening. back. To <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to bring you back to uh, nice. bring it on. It's called a callback in the industry. The, the old callback. So and he didn't like it like me. I just thought we had similar taste and knots. If you want to hire me, Sweet. yeah, because you really loved Dragon Age. <laughs> I, I haven't played it. <laughs> uh, speaking of going back, I added one last news Sam. item in here. Now um, I have to turn out the news light. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to take a look at the old to-do list and see what was in store for beta way back then. And there's a couple of uh, items here. And and keep in mind, this is old and not updated. But way back then, it was saying these were scheduled for beta, such as make moss grow on rocks. It's not in beta. But that it was planned for beta. Another one was the colored dye thing. It was planned for beta. Not quite, but we're in beta. So it's not like... You know, so I don't know. So these are these are maybe kind of you can see, you know, into the future by looking into the past. Was <laughs> I the only one that thought that it was never actually going to go into beta? Oh, you thought it was always going to be alpha? Yeah, I thought that you know that was total BS. I mm. I think it's arbitrary. I don't I don't think that there was a. You don't think there's like some development milestone that was hit that suddenly it yeah. could be de- beta? Yeah. I you, think it was arbitrary. You don't think it was. I like, think he was ready for some kind of mental milestone on the development of his game, and he just. Do you think it. maybe he decided he needed to charge twice as much? Um, that suddenly. could be it. Yeah, twenty-five percent as much. No, fifty percent as much. Is, is it fifteen pounds? Yeah, I think so. Huh. Well, one last thing here. He had seasons planned for before beta, but seasons still aren't here. Yeah. And uh, uh, that's a cool idea. I guess you would have a, a skin for each season, I think, is probably how you would technically yeah. do it. Yeah. Like yeah. all the years yeah. through. Then for all seasons. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, I, ba, I wonder if it's going to be harder to dig through doing. dirt in the wintertime. I'll be your girl oh, yeah. for all seasons. Cool. Yeah. I don't know that song. All the years through. 
Grease 2? Come on. I've never seen Grease 2. Uh, Grease you 2 is are sad cool inside. I've never watched Grease all the way through. That should cool be your new Christmas tradition rider. for now on. You and your wife should snuggle up and watch people. Uh, Grease 2 is a terrible movie. Grease, it is Grease so much two. better than Grease 1. It Grease, is. That yes. is such a lie. You know what? I don't. Mm. I, uh, speaking of lies. Air no. fist bump, baby. Speaking of lies, I don't want to keep lying to the chat room. Are we done with news? Yes. Okay, the news light. All right, news lights going, and going we're out. going to uh, be news moving light. into. See you later, news light. All right, it's time for spectacular stuff. Silence. 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 It's so beautiful. Oh my god, it's so intense. Hallelujah. Cool. So we should be doing like a, I feel like doing like a Brady Bunch thing with the us in the four squares. Hey, Eric. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just going to link to a bunch of cool videos and images and screenshots and all. I've I've found a ton of stuff. People making creeper cookies on Christmas morning. Just all kinds of stuff. Uh, uh, there's a. Uh, I should have made creeper cookies. Isn't that a cool idea? Like yeah. snow creepers in the snow. Uh, also, uh, there's a Christmas tree with blinking lights video. Really impressive. I mean, blinking lights. It's like really cool. In someone in uh, yeah. nice. someone in John Maz's family made him uh, they blocks. Did like out of, it, they looked like real dirt blocks yeah. with like yeah. They look like Rice Krispie squares. Oh, that's like cool. the, they they look kind of Rice Krispie cuby. But yeah, but they were cubes and like you know what that is kind of cool. That would be awesome. Like you know because you know um uh. Freckles they, and and Spike, they did the Tetris Christmas. Uh huh. We should do like a, a Minecraft Christmas where like all of the blo- all of the presents are exactly the same size uh. and they're all in a different thing. <laughs> and then you like have the, to take your um your uh, your pickaxe your and that's pickaxe, how you open them. Yeah, your pick hatchet. <laughs> You're like, damn, another uh, glass mug. Yeah. Psst. <laughs> and and of course, Psst. there's a wall of trees that you have to punch your way through. I am liking this. <laughs> Next year. Next year, man. Tree punching Christmas. I'm dreaming of a tree punching Christmas. Yeah, all well, the limbs of your tree. Just like the ones. I- Sorry. And um, next, in the middle of the exciting. Job. Oh, this is great. Uh, Mills. Uh, <laughs> that was funny. Bob Mills. You're funny. <laughs> Mills in Minecraft, a new series okay. by Bob Mills. Yeah. Uh, he's he's done a lot f- for us. He he. Uh, in fact, you you can hear him do the excavation station bumper. That's him doing that. Uh, cool guy, really technical and smart. He he has a really genius idea about how to make steps out of fences in episode three. Anyway, it's really good. It's he's easy to listen to. It's really great. So I'm gonna link that. So we also uh, real life Minecraft. I hadn't yet seen a video like this yet. I mean, other than the the uh, uh, the Larper guy, yeah. but this is more of a first person view from wolf 21 video uh it's it's pretty cool I'll, I'll link that and lastly it's sort of like an augmented reality kind of thing yeah yeah you can see like the hud down <laughs> yeah. there you know you can we're watching it now he just turned on the light it was uh, awesome. okay yeah <laughs> he punches the light and like, uh and then uh and then lastly we got the minecraft uh interstate version 4.0 what you remember that? do you remember seeing the interstate videos I think Notch actually tweeted about uh, maybe version 2.0 a while ago or something. It's basically a really long stretch of minecart rail, <laughs> and it's sped up. Yeah, it's one of those. I think I remember that. Like it's it, like hypnotic, ridiculously far. Yeah. Well, yeah. this one goes down to the Nether as well, and it's really cool how you get from the from the. What is he like? One world take the, the minecart through a portal. No, it actually just kind of falls in a hole, and it goes black. Obviously, you kind of cut there, uh, but it looks it's it's real cool. And then it just kind of you know lands on some rails and keeps going. It, can you uh, actually take a minecart like through a portal? Because that would be pretty pretty. Sweet. I don't think so because you'd have to sit there and wait for it to kick in. Yeah, you that know? sucks. So they should fix that. I mean, you could you could have it end right at a portal, kind of crash into it. Yeah, but you'd still have to sit there and wait. Yeah, but I think so. part of the point is he doesn't ever want it to look like it's ending. Right. So yeah, and it's cool seeing all the weird patterns that the Nether creates. You know, because he's going miles and miles of mm. it. You know, um, it's pretty pretty nifty. Pretty Is that nifty. all you got? That is all I have. Okay. And next up I is that lovable guy that you love to listen to. Ooh. 
resources. <laughs> I really hate that bumper. <laughs> you don't hate it. I do. Bah humbug. No, I I hate and rage it. You love it. You do. That didn't make any you sense. You want to marry it? Hey, Mary. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Ah! Nice one, I think. Not really. Uh, so here's an app that uh, someone emailed that doesn't have a name at all. That, that so app not doesn't even, have a name? Not even a name that we can, like, make them angry by using? Uh, I think it was a bunch of numbers. Okay. So, so we'll just say 42873. There you go. Okay. 42873. So and sorry for in. if that's your real name. Uh, you can <laughs> let us know. Um, he, uh, he found a cool app for the iPod and iPad that is used to create Minecraft skins, and it's called Cool Shoes 2. So you can sit there on your iPhone and make skins. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's dollar ninety nine, which is why I don't actually want to download it and try it out. Cause like, I'm not really gonna ever be in the mood to make a skin away from my computer, right? I mean, that's kind of weird. I don't I know. You're out somewhere, maybe at a doctor's appointment, sitting in the office, and you go, "That guy needs to be a skin <laughs> in Minecraft." So you pull up your app and you sit there, and you've got a live subject that you can do, and it just seems like it would be hard to do on an iPhone, personally. Like, yeah. I see a lot yeah. of touching the wrong blocks a lot of times. Being I, like, oh, I'm going to change yeah, that one. There's back. nothing worse than the bad touch. <laughs> <laughs> and next up, the next Merry Christmas. <laughs> uh, a couple of mod updates here. Uh, uh, the You remember Ambient Occlusion? Mm-hmm. Which yeah. I loved so much. I still haven't done that. I still haven't like tried it. Well, it's updated for, for beta, and this is uh, uh, Mr. Messiah's Minecraft Mods version 1.7. Uh, which actually gives you simple map, better grass, a couple other ones. Uh, SM chat, which is the press tab to reply to the last person who talked to you, which, oh my god, it's so good. Yeah. Uh, but uh, anyway, he, he renamed it from ambient occlusion to better light. So much that's better. A better to, that's a better name. Yeah. 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 And uh, I mean, I, I, I know what ambient occlusion is. Right. Because you're all smart and stuff. I am. But this one actually looks a little better. Like it's it's more pleasing to my eye. Whatever he's done, he's he's rewritten it and done some stuff. I think he comes over to your house when you're sleeping and kind of sees and what knows it when looks you're like awake, and then goes back and tweaks it a little bit, and then comes speaks through your window and looks to see how it looks. He knows yeah. if you've been bad. It's or a personal good. service he's doing, and I think maybe he should take one more uh, change of his name. It should be Better Light for Minecraft. Yeah. So be good for Just a suggestion. <laughs> yeah, oh. for Minecraft. <laughs> Bluff em. Um, You better not look Bluff em. at that terrible Bluff em. light. <laughs> In a rush because if you do, Bluff your em. eyes will explode. <laughs> uh, also, we have a how-to guide. This is uh, advanced modding with a complete mod list uh, by, uh, by Sage Pepper. <laughs> nice! Sage, Sage Pepper. Ten points. And uh, this, is, this is nice for anybody wanting to get into modding. Uh, it, it it you know I mean there's a tutorial. Also, when you're modding things, you don't want to put yourself there. You, well, you don't want to modify the same class that another mod is is modified because they'll clash and it's either it's either or at that point. You can't put both mods on. Well, that could be and, a whole um, game, right? Which mod wins? Right. Yeah, and that's why there's mod packs out there because they're compatible. They're not using the same classes. Well, this this advanced modding tutorial thing is is cool about listing. Um, mods and what classes they use so that you can be careful you know your your mod would be more popular because it's more compatible with others anyway uh. it's a cool link I'm not gonna particularly uh, okay. make my own mods or anything I'm gonna wait for the API to come out but if you want to do that and make Notch mad, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Uh, and lastly, blinking lights tutorials. Uh, it's a little late to make your own Christmas tree, but if you did want to, here's a cool video on exactly how to make blinking lights. Sweet. Very nice rethorth. I wish you wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Too bad. Um, and uh, I guess we're going to this one. I'm going to pull out some uh, a nice little old bumper here. Okay. Just for uh, old school sake. Listener contributions. Listener contributions. Listener contributions. Dun dun. This is the part where we talk about the contributions from listeners. Listener contributions. Listener contributions. Nice. Hold on. I have to put up the listener contributions light. And scene. <laughs> um, there we go. Well, okay, good. Well, you know, this is a long <laughs> segment. And uh, so this is a. Uh, we're going to be reading emails. Okay, this is cool. 
there's a ton here. I don't know. We may want to stop at one point. <laughs> okay, that's a good stopping point. <laughs> <laughs> so I should and take the listener contributions in light down. Scene. Uh, if you want to be seen video, video wise, yeah. Um, you want to start off, uh, Brent? Yeah, Six String Olympian says, do you think that teleportation would be a good feature, and if so, why? Well, there's already warps, and there's already, like, the home the, and spawn. The netherworld gates, those are sort of teleportation. Yeah, yeah. that's a tough one, because, I mean, it really kind of breaks the game uh, uh, to have so many warps and ways to teleport, you know? Uh, well, I'd, I kind of like the way that we do it with the named, you know, site, like, big places you could, you know set down something that you could warp to. So, I mean, I, I'm yeah. all for there being teleportation on some level. Hmm. But a way in-game to know what those are. Yeah. yeah. And and I I think I would like for some moderation tools regarding it. You know what I mean? Like, I'd... Yeah. I, I think know. there should be more beatboxing <laughs> in Minecraft. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, w- <laughs> what I was thinking. Um, Rock- but yeah, I agree. I think there needs to be more kind of... Uh, uh, tools for the admins because right now just having a big text file of like crap loads of yeah. warps just doesn't work. Yeah, there's it doesn't work in game when you do you know list warps and there's 500 warps on it. Yeah, you know, and it makes it and half of them don't even show up because they scrolled off your screen. Yeah, yeah. True. Six. Uh, pardon me. Rocky one two three three says, "Is there a way for us to know when you will be on your server?" No. You yeah. can follow me on Twitter. I usually post there. When I'm at the, that's at Brent that's Copeland. That's at Wes Wilson. Yeah. At Wes Wilson. <laughs> Wes Wilson. And usually at Brent Copeland too. when I see them on the server, I usually tweet about it as well. So just... Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, there is not. There is not. It's hard to say. It's, I mean, nobody really has... I mean, I, I mean, we do have that gnome that watches us all the, the time. If you are on the server, you will and see us log in. And Brent Copeland. Yeah. You'll see who logs in on the server. Yeah. So I guess I'm more prone to play on a Friday night if I was to actually pick a day. Friday time. night I played Minecraft, mm. dug a hole and made a draft. I'm I'm more likely to to play when the lag isn't very bad. Yeah. So like right now when there's when Brent's yeah. the only one on the server, <laughs> I'm more likely to play when the server is down. Yeah. 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 Uh. All righty then. Next, uh, Brian says, "Why should I put?" Well, what? Well, what? what should I put inside this massive tree I built? It is 128 block by diameter and 40 <laughs> blocks high. What kind of question is that? You should put the shaft in your tree. <laughs> you should fill it with Wait. cream. I don't know. Wait, put the, uh, put something. The shaft in your shaft? I so think you should you fill it with fire. <laughs> so that you can... <laughs> yes, put fire in the tree. We while you tree? I don't know. Um, I guess you could put all your friends in there. <laughs> yeah, you could. Kind of lock them yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, you know, Except they can punch punch the wood. That's true. Fill it up with pigs. That'd be cool. Ooh, pig tree. Pig tree. <laughs> like a pinata. Oi, you bust oi. it open and no, all these I pigs mean, come out. Oi, Seriously. Oi. I mean, just go with my old philosophy. If it's empty, fill it with cream. Okay. okay. Yeah. Do that then. Yeah. Perfect. What a great question. That's how he cooks, too. It is. <laughs> An- another you have my, my cream-filled chicken. Another recommendation <laughs> would be cookies and elves. Anyway, next yeah. question. <laughs> <laughs> That's a copyright violation. No, it's not. God. Cookies, Happy elves, and trees. To We're you. For Alex <laughs> Martin says, so I was mining in single player today and found five or six diamonds. After I mined them all, they were not in my inventory. Question mark, exclamation point, question mark. What? And I don't know if this is on our server. <laughs> Just, uh, no, he uh, said in single player. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't listen. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> I, all I was thinking was that maybe he wasn't using a, a an iron pick. Yeah. And so they didn't use a stone pick. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. It, yeah. That's a good point. You have to use at least an iron pick to mine diamonds. Yeah. Or else, if you hit it with a stone pick, or, or if you like have the patience to punch it out, that would take like six years, I think. Can you yeah. even punch diamonds? You can punch them, but they won't fall. I yeah, mean, they won't take fall. Forever. Yeah, like if you're not using the right tool for the jizzob. I've never really tried that, but that's interesting. Or you take a block of wood and just jizzob. hit it with that. <laughs> <laughs> this you're show not good is at that. It's going bad. down. Yeah. So, Jackie. Jackie? Oh. Uh, what project has taken you the longest to build? That's what Jackie wants to know. I'm not done with the, my big. Uh, I, the longest work I did was on Egypt, in the old Egypt. Me too. Yeah, Egypt by far took the longest to build. Snow and it's still not done. If we actually still had the server, I would still be working on yep. it, technically. Sometimes you just have to abandon a project and call it done. 
Yeah, I think I actually. Yeah, I think mine is actually Egypt too, because it was the catacombs that I was building underneath Egypt. Yeah, with the, with the library, our old, sir. the Library of Alexandria, yeah, or whatever you called it, Library of Copeland. You're making me sad. Chief Jumpin' Border sent in an Chief idea. What? Chief what? Jumpin' Border. <laughs> Chief Jumpin' Border. <laughs> jumpin' Border. Chief Jumpin' Border. Uh, sent in an idea with a twist for a PvP arena. 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 Where you, fail, where, where you would spawn additional mobs like zombies and skeletons for people to deal with as well as each other. I think that's kind of cool. A PvP arena yeah. where you spawn additional mobs. Okay. And I mean, there might be an easy way to do it. Maybe you have some, you know, we talked about trap doors, you know. What if you just built some arenas that, like, basically you built a uh, big... Uh, monster, you know Use the monster, words, the monster um, spawner thing. Spawn, well, the the churners, the the, the where, where the the monster, Dungeons, the thing with the stuff, the monster mills where the yeah, people, yeah. Ma- uh, and then I know what you're talking about. But the dark you, rooms well, with the uh, water and stuff, right? Make you make that, you make that, but you put mobs in it. Okay, and then you have you know doors. You know oh. what I think, that and it just pours the monsters out into a big arena. Oh. It's like I want to have gladiator. Like, yeah, that's arena. cool. I like that. Like a I want to have more mobs, though. I want to have more different kinds of mobs. Well, he'd hinted at maybe a new mob for the uh, Christmas update, but I want yeah, thousands I of them. I want like little low res lions running around, and I, I want a sheep that will actually cut you. I know why you have <laughs> sheep. <laughs> but it acts like a sheep until you come up to like hit it for wool and then it turns around and like cuts you. Like a wolf in sheep's clothing? Yes. Mm. Or just a sheep with a and knife. A, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would see more of like a shiv. Like this baby has been to prison. <laughs> he's got a st- he, and he's got a toothbrush. He filed down. He, he's got a board with a nail in it. <laughs> and you come up to get get its wool and it cuts you. It's shanky. It cuts you real Did good. Did you have like a bad experience at a wool gathering operation as a child? I wouldn't say it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to hear from my brother Fred because he usually calls in with some good stuff yeah did he call in this week he did he did last week and I forgot to play it oops so this is last week's question hey Shaft Infant here my question this week is this if you had a pet creeper what would you call it see ya creepy (laughs) creepy the creeper Steve I would I would call mine Floyd because that's the coolest name for a creeper yeah it is ever explosion-y explosion the creeper? Mm-hmm. Huh. It's a little a bit of a I mean, tongue tie Okay, there. you know what? What would happen if you ever had to take your creeper to the vet? I mean, first off, what conditions would cause the creeper to want to go to the vet? Like you accidentally got too close to it when you were feeding it and it exploded? Well, then you take it to the vet and they're going to say, that creeper is dead. It exploded. You're done. You don't take it to the vet. You find the creeper whisperer. And he comes over yes. and it starts going, tss, and then he goes, tss, and like grabs it and it stops. <laughs> well, what happens if your creeper like dies, like not explosion, like just the creeper dies, <laughs> it like dies of old age, and then you bury it in the pet cemetery? If a creeper dies in the woods, does it leave Don't the corpse? Don't want to be buried in a pet No, I mean, but what would, like, what would a zombie creeper be like? Uh, like Floyd the zombie creeper. <laughs> like like uh, smooth, smooth like Lionel Richie. Oh, really? Yeah, dancing on the ceiling and stuff like that. Huh. I don't know why. Hey, <laughs> that brings up a good idea, though. A disco creeper. Like, he would have, like, a disco skin, and it would shine and stuff. And he had, like, a white suit on. You know what? I yeah, think, I think, like, think we've done enough. I think this, this, is this, 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 this is a good spot to end the show forever. And you did you say that's a good idea? Yo, man. I think we're done with listener contributions, <laughs> right? Yes. Done for we the are. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I have to turn off the listener contributions light. Okay. Wow, we had a there lot left, too. Yeah, but we're done. I'm hungry. Are we done with this uh, listener contributions? Yeah, then? we're done for now. Woo, man. Um, I'm f- I'm we're really loud in this episode, aren't I'm we? Singing. singing and dancing and stuff. It's a it's merry fun. episode. I like it. We wish you a merry Minecraft. We wish you a merry Minecraft. We wish you a merry Minecraft and a happy new Minecraft. year. New and set of new diamond new tools. Uh, new shafts. Beta files. Netherrack. Server. No lag. No lag. Hatchet stuff. <laughs> Hey, um, oh. We won't go until we want to. We won't go until we want to. We won't go until we want to. So we'll see, see you, you next week. Next in the shaft. 
up. Lands. <laughs> Man, we gotta kick this guy out. He's just not fitting. <laughs> you just threw something at me. I did. That's not Mary. So uh, it is Mary. I guess we're leaving out. Uh, we're going out of this yeah, episode. We got we got Christmas it. music going on right now. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Oh yes, yeah, I cool. can. I cool? can hear it. It's awesome. It's pretty sweet. And uh, so you can watch this crazy episode on YouTube. And we're wearing Christmas hats right now, little Santa hats. Eric, you can check that out. Eric, I don't really hear it. I just said that to make you happy. He'll I'm edit it in. He'll edit yeah, it you in. don't know the magic of radio. You know what we need now? What we need. The Christmas music light. We need the Christmas music light. Oh, we need the Christmas, Christmas okay. music light. Is that a Christmas song? No, I guess oh, it's not. we need <laughs> Christmas music. We need Christmas music. We should we do, like do like some kind of weird version of dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. That's like the only like, creeper, 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 creeper. You blew up all my buildings. <laughs> that, okay, good enough. Yeah. Um, do you we, know any uh, Kwanzaa songs? Please? No. Kwan- no. Kwanzaa. We also have a blog you can check out at theshaft.tumblr.com. Tumblr. And we are on Facebook. <laughs> for you Facebookians. <laughs> Tumblr. And, uh, um, well, you can call us and iTunes us. iTunes us. <laughs> and uh, all that crazy stuff. So hopefully everybody had a good time, had a good Christmas. Did you have a good Christmas, Wes? Or holiday? I did have a good Christmas. I, I had a great care. Christmas. Brent, did you have a good Christmas? I did. I don't care. Eric? It was you? lovely. Tell me all about it. I'm it was. Wes is going to hit me. It right. was dandy like a lion. I'm all Frenchy. Dandy like a lion? Frenchy? Yeah. Oh, dandy lion. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Frenchy? <laughs> Frenchy? Frenchy? Can we go eat? Yes. Okay, we're done. Bye. Uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Congratulations, you made it through The Shaft alive. See show notes and leave comments for this episode at theshaft.deadworkers.com. Send questions, comments, and audio to theshaft at deadworkers.com or leave us a voicemail at 256-812-1010. Talking about Shaft Christmas episode Christmas episode I got a cold Christmas episode You can like you know, join in and add something It's the Christmas Terrible! Horrendous! I'm offended! I'm appalled! So what are we gonna do? Oh, what else? Email it to everybody we know! Good idea. <laughs> <laughs>